some kind of rational mind that's hoping that by reading some spiritual books and learning about I am is going to really help you, the answer is only a bit. I mean, don't not do it, but only a bit. Only a bit. And if you really, really want this, then somehow you have to create inside you and in, inside your life, I would suggest, you have to create a space. You know, you have to basically create a space for God to come and knock on your door. But you can't do this. I've, I've spent my, I spent 40 years in this sort of spiritual world. You know? And in this 40 years, I've met a lot of awakened, enlightened, self-realized people. In fact, a lot of them I could call even a bit friends or acquaintances. You know? And um, I would guess most of them had worked with a, a, a teacher, with a master, with a guru. So I definitely would recommend that if you really, really want this, it's a really, really big help to have somebody in your life who you like enough, that you maybe even love enough, you have a resonance with that person, and you spend a lot of time with that person. You have to spend time. And it's better if it's an alive master because it's not so easy with a dead master. Dead masters are very convenient because they can't really answer back your bullshit. And I also have another recommendation is you don't really need a nice master or teacher. It can help to have somebody who's not quite nice because you don't really want somebody who is always smiling and telling you nice things. You need somebody who tells you stuff that you don't want to hear, actually. Because if you have somebody who's telling you nice stuff, it means probably he's not really disturbing your mind very much. Okay, that's my experience. And I would say almost every teacher that I know of, Western or Indian, had a teacher. I mean, there may be a bunch of other people that I don't know who are self-realized, living in the forest somewhere or whatever, and maybe they didn't have a teacher, I don't know. You know. But the ones that I know, for example, I made a project for 16 Indian masters, and I made another project for, I think it was 16 European masters. Yeah, I've got these two books and two films. And um, so that's what, that's 32 people. As far as I can remember, they all had a teacher. They all had a teacher. So in Europe, I know there's a very strong feeling, I can do this myself. You know, I can do this myself. So, okay, do it yourself. Fine, go and do it yourself. You know? But um, I don't think they're going to do it themselves, actually. Especially in Europe. Because in Europe and North America, it's not so easy to do this even with the help of somebody. You know, living in a very materialistic society, where everybody's very rational, everybody's busy in their minds, um, you get very little support. You get very little support. In fact, you, you get the opposite of support. Your friends look at you like you're a bit cuckoo. 